morning guys Saturday morning five to nine uh, I did get fluid in the brakes last weekend last Sunday um, and used the pump to bleed them the back ones bled really good because they have new bleeders but the front ones I gotta go get new bleeders for the calipers here before dinner before they close because I wasn't getting a good uh, the pump was sucking around the threads of the bleeder and the bleeders all rusty so uh, so I gotta get that today and then bleed the front and I should have good brakes I got pedal now but it's just not right and uh, like I said I'm just trying to get yard brakes for now I just before I go to put the car on the road I will replace everything booster master cylinder rotors calipers pads drums shoes and spring kit I already had to do the wheel cylinders in the back because they were just shot so I had to put those in but just like I said it's gonna be a year or more before I put this car on the road and that'll be one of the last things I do to it it's uh, put a real good set of brakes on it like I said I just want them now so that I can move her around the yard plus I need new dust rings so but uh, I got myself in another mess which I thought was only going to take a few hours to do and what we have here is doors off a I don't even know what year it is it's a Vomit tractor buddy of mine bought a tractor and you can see this door uh, somebody had already repaired it they put a new brace in here uh, new bottom on it along here up here across right there you can see the welds and uh, flip her over here really not much to a tractor door frame with the glass out of it Let's see if I can get her flipped without dropping it you can see we put uh, pieces in there in here and you can see where they welded a new bottom end and uh, this new side here across here um, I didn't bring the glass this door here is just for a pattern but I'll show you the other door I've been working on, which I thought was just going to take me a few hours. Boy, was I wrong. Here's the passenger side door off the tractor, which was not very good shape. That piece went there. Uh... I did get that part rebuilt yesterday and I made a template off of the other door so that I made sure as long as this keeps fitting I'll be fine for building the bottom here and then I made another pattern which is the bottom of this goes in there if I keep getting it caught on rust like so um, it's hard to show that that goes down in there like so and I got that sort of bent up in the right position now I got to take the hinge off which I didn't really want to but it's rusted right up under the hinge so I'm going to take that, take care of that too. And this is 18 gauge metal. And I'll tell you, that's all. I think that's, <laughs> that's more than what should be bending with that. That's, it just takes everything you got to bend that with, with that brake. So, and you got to make sure you bend it the right places because I, I bent these two pieces and then I couldn't bend this bottom part so I ended up bending that by hand 
and this flange here I had to start bending it by hand to get it folded over enough so I could get it in the brake so I just started out in the wrong spot and uh, had to do a lot of it by hand and once I get that piece in and then I gotta make this piece basically same thing that was on the other door gotta be done to this door and I got it started to draw out but I thought I'd better stop until I get that piece in and go from there so uh, hopefully it'll go a little faster now that I've figured out where I'm going with it and we decided or the, my buddy decided just leave the hinge off we'll put the door on the track there get it fit in the right place and then spot it because it's just a matter of setting these down into pins so that's probably the best way to do that I don't have to paint this or nothing he's gonna do that I just welding it together getting her fixed up so we can put the glass back in and it's only held in with these little tabs so it's pretty easy you know to install so I just thought I'd give you a little shot of what I've been doing here one of these quick jobs that's not going quick but as you see that door is mangled and uh, it's a uh, I couldn't tell you what year the tractor is it's a Volmet but it's a three cylinder turbo 70 horsepower and maybe this afternoon when I take the get this door done take it out and we'll uh, take a little video of the tractor and then I can get back on to this which I did start straightening my uh, lines out and uh, I took Tony's time to tinker's advice I did a lot of it with the vice so that worked out good and also uh, like to thank Richard Miller Doug Buggy 32 and Jerry Cheater 40 for uh, point me in the right direction for the emergency brake cables I can't get under there to show you right now but uh, apparently I got them in the right place but there's some other issue with the pipe I think so I'm gonna have to address that later no big hurry for that because I got a lot more to do yet so but uh, there is fluid in there and uh, do got brakes and uh really want to thank Jerry Cheater 40 he gave me a call and uh, <coughs> I had a good chat with him on the phone really enjoyed that Jerry and he told me about a website called inlinetube.com and saw in there was diagrams on there for the emergency brake cable so that really worked out and uh, Richard Miller also told me what to Google and it actually took me to inlinetube.com too so really thank you guys for that advice so really helped so but uh, I still got issues down there but we'll get them figured out so anyways I'm gonna get on this door see if I can get her done and uh, get back on the fuel lines because I like to really like get fuel lines on this weekend and get those bleeders in so uh, we're gonna get this quick job done and then we'll be back I'll show you where we're at it's been a little over an hour now five after ten now I'm gonna cut this chunk and put that in it's just one piece at a time here it is coming together slowly and this piece here it's bent so I just tacked it on the corner where it's straight and then uh, I'm gonna end up putting the piece in there to get rid of that really thin metal right there because they get hit and rot it out so and I got that piece I got the lip belt bent and marked and I what I did I think HPR mentioned this uh, he put a piece of steel across the bottom of his to stand on well I just quickly threw a piece of hardwood on there and made it a lot easier to get a hold of that thing and come on to her so but uh, I eventually am going to put a bar across there and make that stronger so anyways let's see what I can go in the next hour just piece by piece is like a puzzle 
Hey guys, got one tractor door repaired. Just ready to take it out and see if it fits on the tractor. Hopefully, end up putting a piece in there. It was rotted. And put the brackets back in for the mold, uh, for the interior, I think. That's what it's for. That's her. Done. She fit. And this is a 98 velvet, not a velvet. It's a vermin. <laughs> You do a little tweaking on the hinge. A little bending with a piece of wood right here. She fits okay. It's a big tractor. So you said it was a three cylinder turbo? Yeah. 70 horsepower? 70, yeah. Heavy duty. Anyways, this is the tractor. Done. Hello guys, we're back at the the rust pile. I gotta clean up my mess. It's uh, 3.30 almost. And uh, I'm not gonna get nothing done to the Nova today. I went down to get the bleeders. They didn't have any. There was only one part store open today. And uh, had to order them, so they won't be in until next week. And, uh, oh, that tractor door took a lot longer than I thought, but Everything usually takes longer than I think uh, when I from start to finish. So, anyways, uh, tomorrow on I'm going to start on the fuel lines and try to get them on and get the tank ready, get that on, and I can get it off the jug and uh, be able to move her around without trying to hang a jug off it. So, and. Uh, Next weekend I'll bleed these real quick again and that should give me good breaks for now. And uh, like I said, this is just temporary, just so I can move it around the yard. And uh, anyways, uh, like I said, I, I don't know if I'll have a video tomorrow, but I'll probably do it Monday. Because uh, HPR is sending me a package and it should probably be here Monday. And uh, we'll do a video on that to see what it is. Hi guy, <laughs> this is an awesome guy he is, so I'm looking forward to that, he's really got my curiosity going on that one, so, but as soon as that comes in, I'll uh, do an opening video, and uh, that's like I said, it's probably Monday, it's probably here in town, they're just too lazy to put it in their mailbox, so, but uh, anyways, I'm going to shut this video down, we're going to do a little start up on the Nova. I like to hear it run. Uh, I already had it going once today, but and I got to bring my snow blower in. It's out there in the rain. We had three snowstorms last week, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and now it's raining. So I hope it rains it all off. I'm tired of it. Anyways, I got the. I had this going today already. Uh, there was fella in one here it run so. We'll, uh, I'm going to set you back here and uh, see if it'll go quick. I did have the line out of the jug, so I don't know if it's going to pick it up real quick or not. We'll end this video here because they're starting it up. And uh, like I said before, thank everybody for the information on the Mersey Brake diagram. I'm going to get that straightened out. And uh, thanks for watching. Let's see if this thing will go. Oh yeah. She held her prime that time. I love the sound, but I want it to sound better, so when the time comes. We'll be putting a different exhaust on it, especially once the truck motor's in it. I like to have a three inch exhaust on it with some nice sounding muffler. Not sure which way I'm going to go yet, but there she is. I love it how it starts, too. Thank you.
Thanks a lot. Have a good one.